In a quiet suburban neighborhood, there lived an 80-year-old man named Mr. Thompson. He spent his days in his cozy house, surrounded by memories of a life well-lived. One sunny afternoon, his 45-year-old son, Mark, came to visit. Mark was a successful professional, highly educated and always busy with his demanding job. As they sat together on the sofa, enjoying the peace of the afternoon, a crow suddenly landed on the window ledge. Mr. Thompson's eyes lit up with curiosity. What is that? He asked, pointing at the bird. Mark glanced over and replied, It's a crow, Dad. A few minutes passed in silence before Mr. Thompson asked again. What is that? Mark, slightly puzzled, repeated. It's a crow, Dad. I just told you. The moments ticked by slowly, and yet again Mr. Thompson inquired, What is that? This time Mark's patience began to wear thin. It's a crow, Dad. Why do you keep asking me the same question? But the fourth time his father asked, Mark lost his temper. It's a crow. How many times do I have to tell you? Are you losing your mind? Seeing the anger and frustration in his son's eyes, Mr. Thompson quietly got up and walked to his room. He returned holding an old, worn-out diary, its pages yellowed with age. Without a word, he handed it to Mark and asked him to read a particular page. Curious and a bit ashamed of his outburst, Mark opened the diary and read aloud the entry dated many years ago. Today, my little son Mark, age three, was sitting with me on the sofa when a crow landed on the window. Mark asked me 23 times what it was, and I replied to him all 23 times that it was a crow. Each time he asked, I felt an overwhelming sense of love and joy. I hugged him lovingly every time he asked the same question. Mark's eyes filled with tears as he realized the significance of his father's gesture. He had asked his father the same question only four times, and yet he had lost his patience. But when he was a child, his father had answered him with love and patience 23 times. Mark looked at his father, who was now watching him with a gentle smile. I'm so sorry, Dad. I didn't understand. Mr. Thompson reached out and patted Mark's hand. It's all right, son. I just wanted you to remember that love and patience go hand in hand. As we grow older, we need our children's love and patience just as much as they needed ours when they were young. From that day forward, Mark made a vow to treat his father with the same love and patience that he had received as a child. He realized that caring for his aging father was not a burden, but a privilege, a chance to give back the love that had shaped his life. This story reminds us all of the importance of treating our parents with kindness and respect, especially as they grow older. It's a lesson in patience, love, and the unbreakable bond between parents and children.